What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, people were complaining about Unison. People were complaining about the $30 Insta Composer. Well, how can you complain about a free AI chord generator, chord melody maker, all right? Splash Pro, okay? And I'll leave the link in the description below. It is completely free. All you got to give up is your email, but it is completely free. Okay, so we got Splash Pro opened up in FL Studio. Now, what I'm going to do is going to put this at 45. And then I'm going to sync. It doesn't automatically sync. It's kind of a standalone generator. It's like uh, 7 to like 20 MB on your computer. And it, it opens up and you can drag up the MIDI into your DAW. I'm going to keep Scalar open up. But we go ahead and get a sound going in Electra S. C minor, we're just going to leave it there. You can do four bars, eight bars, or 16 as far as it generating a uh, MIDI for you. Then you can pick the number of chords, one chord, two chord, four chords, or eight chords, stretching across. And then you can, it has built-in chord progressions that you can choose. And then you come to the keyboard. Now, it not only does just the keyboard, it generates a bass. It generates drums and vocals so we're gonna check in all of that and then right here the playing style do you want electric electronic music um, do you want hip-hop do you want pop R&B or rock and then you can tell it short single notes long single notes um, complex two hand chord playing I guess variation you go all the way, all the way to 1.0 which is a hundred percent or you can go in in between there now this you can lock it in okay how you want to play your according this or note length root octave velocity you can you know if you want that strumming the timing of it where do you want it to pick up it and then the pitch range and then once you're done with that you hit compose and it generates a MIDI clip which is gonna throw that in there into the Electra X and let's see how it sounds Pretty dope, pretty dope. And once again, you can either modify that or you can say, well, compose something else. It pulls up. Let me move that over. It pulls up and then you can just drag again and it changes. Not bad. So let's see if we can clone this. and add on to it add on a melody to it so that was just the chord progression I'm gonna add a futuristic bell all right so the way I would do that is I guess I will go in here keep it the same short single notes not so much chordness to it variation all right and then compose and let's see what that that leaves us Now it's not it's, you know it's pretty simple it's not the it's not the best uh, <laughs> interface but let's see Okay a little off but you can mess with the time on that one Let's see if we can um take down the note length Take down the time and let's see what happens when we compose it again. Oh, okay. It's not the best at all. I mean, you have to work with it and you have to get used to it because it has a lot to it. You can do supporting chords, long single notes, and all of that. Now, let's say if we wanted a bass, okay? So we're going to say long notes for the bass to a company. You can also drag in your own MIDI files or you can blend it in. Okay. Now we want a little. We got to put the lock on to change it. A little bit of density. And a little bit of variation to our bass. And let's see if it drags it over. And let's find a base. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it starts at a low octave. You can always push it up. But that's not, you get what you pay for, and we ain't pay for it, so we can't be mad. Don't be mad. All right, that was not it at all. Um, I want a long note. I don't need variation, I guess. Let's take the density off. Let's see if we can get it right that time. Doesn't look like we got it right. Nah. So, of course, you will have to work with that because that does not give you everything you need. Okay. So, let's go over to the drums. Let's see what happens. Simple dance. You can go back into hip hop. We're going to go into trap. Put a little bit of variation. Some high energy. Or a little bit better. It's a little bit of density. Groovettes. No trip. Oh, and then I think you can go here. Hit that's the kick drum. Compose it and put it on the kick. Okay, that seems a little fast. Let's see. What happens when we do it like that? Okay. Okay, that sounds much better. Now we're going to go get a clap or a snare. Okay, so I guess I had the kick and the clap on at the same time. And it puts it at a low... I don't like off the bat that it puts it at a low. Okay. So this one got, like I said, this this VST plug-in is free. Got work to do, especially on the drums. Let's see if I can take these off. Okay, but you get what you pay for and you don't pay for this one. The idea is in the right place with the chords, but with the drums, it is not that well okay so for this it says standard or drag a midi file in here and you can kind of type in some lyrics all right baby let's go oh okay cool it comes up with the voice baby let's go okay so we can do something like this baby let's go go baby let's go 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 okay so that is worth it right there to create your own vocal clips baby let's go Take me with you. See what happens when we do that. And then it has some little features. Okay, so it really comes out like. Baby, let's go. Take me with you. And it's in key. Whatever key you set it in, it's in that key. It's in C minor. That's now that's crazy. Let's see how the male version sounds. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This that's a that's that's a good this is a good one. Baby, let's go. Baby, let's go. Take me with. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Splash Pro. I need to work with it some more. I like the keyboard section and the way you can maneuver and get different types of chords. I'm not too impressed with the drum or the bass. Bass is hard to do, you know, it's just, it's, you have to have that timing for it. And that's what AI can't really do just yet even with hexachords, even with some of these other um, 
uh, MIDI generator or melody generator. It's just hard to get that 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 chord bass sound together. The chords that that we 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 got that down. Now the bass is coming along. The drums. I like the kick by itself. I didn't like the clap, so to speak. Um, let's see if we can just do something else. Here are the major and minor. Let's just go to A minor and then let's go to a, another crazy thing like that and supporting chords. Let's just see if it just changes up anything. So I like the melody chord situation. I don't like the bass. Um, the drums is kind of wonky. I'll work with it and see if I can come up with something. You can get some rim shots, toms, crashes, hi-hats going. But the vocals and vocals is impressive. Just actually typing in something and getting a new sound. And just think if you wanted to really, you know, go to song mode and change something up, what you could do is you could take the vocal and then you can kind of pitch it down if you wanted a different type of sound or put some effects on it. Let's go. Hey, I, I'm going to use that a lot. So let me know in the comments below what you think about Splash Pro. I'll put the link in the description. It's totally free. Just give up your email. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Just showing you a free AI chord generator. Let me know what you think. Peace.